welcome to bsc statistics student now in this lesson i explain critical path method this is one of the method in networking network scheduling right so what is meant by critical path method the main objective of the critical path method is to estimate the total project duration so what you have to calculate you have to estimate the total what is the total project duration to complete the entire project uh, what will be the uh, the time uh, which what is the time it is going to be taken right uh, and to assign starting and finishing times to all activities involved in the project so whichever the activities which are going to be considered you have to assign starting time and finishing time you have to calculate all these time uh, times uh, and so that the, the total project duration you have to calculate you have to estimate and such method is nothing but critical path method for which you have to define two particular things critical activity and critical path two definition what is meant by critical activity an activity in a network diagram is said to be critical if the delay in its start which will be further delay in the project completion of time for example you have delayed one particular activity delay in the activity which leads to delay in the further uh, uh, completion of project uh, time total completion of the project time if it also delays then it is called uh, that activity is called critical activity i give you an example if we construct a five floor building then for example uh, if you consider first construction of first floor construction of second floor etc are some activities if you delay the construction of first floor automatically the entire project will be delayed second floor construction of second floor third floor etc the total completion of the project it is also will be delayed it's also delayed so that so that is a so whichever activity if you delay one particular activity it leads to further delay in the completion of the project time then that the activity it is called critical that activity is called critical so now the critical path what is meant by critical path the sequence of critical activities in a network diagram is called critical path just now we have discussed critical activities if you arrange the critical activities in a particular order that is called sequence what is the order to complete or finish the uh, all critical activities and show that the project is going to be finished then if you arrange all the critical activities in critical activities in a particular order in a particular network it is called critical path if you construct a network diagram with the help of the all critical activities in a sequence then that is nothing but critical path that is arranging or uh, uh, taking all the critical activities in an order in a particular network diagram then it is called critical path right which is also called longest path in the network uh, from the starting event to ending event with minimum uh, time required to complete the project that is called critical path so finally the, the definition of critical path method estimating the total project duration through the critical path is called critical path method estimating the total project duration uh, what is the time to complete the total project if you estimate that if you estimate uh, the total project duration total time to complete the project through the critical path it is called critical path method now we calculate now you know some of the important uh, notation next we have to consider you have to uh, learn what are the notation you see here i comma j represents activity activity i comma j 
the tile event i had event j in which uh, i is the tile event j is the had event so that uh, if you join these two events uh, the activity i comma j is going to be represented it is known as i comma j the activity i comma j next ei earliest occurrence time of event i tile event lj latest occurrence time of event j the this is uh, for had event lj ei lj and tij or dij estimated completion time of activity i comma j this is duration or complete completion of time of the activity i comma j and esf ef esij earliest starting time of activity i comma j efij earliest finishing time of activity i comma j lsij latest starting time of activity i comma j lfij latest finishing time of activity i comma j these are the terminology you have to remember and with this ter terminology with these terminology now you have to learn two important particular calculations of the critical path method after constructing the network diagram you have to calculate earliest start times earliest finish times similarly latest start times latest finish times these are the times you have to calculate which means uh, uh, ei and lj these are going to be calculated for which uh, you have two methods uh, forward pass calculations and backward pass calculations these are the crucial uh, calculations uh, in the critical path method you have to follow this uh, and then you have to calculate uh, uh, the earliest times and uh, latest times right the forward pass calculations which are to be represented to calculate which are used to calculate earliest times start and finish right for which what you have to consider assume earliest occurrence time of the initial event is zero e1 is equal to zero that is for i is equal to one that is the first consideration you have to consider first consideration you have to take e1 is equal to zero you have to consider the very first time initial at initial event the time of the initial event e1 is equal to zero you have to consider and then earlier starting time of the activity i comma j the that is uh, is the earliest event uh, time of the tile and tile and uh, event that is esij is equal to it is going to be considered as ei that is the step to step to earliest starting time of the activity step 3 you have to calculate the earliest finishing time of each activity i comma j by adding the earliest starting time of the activity to the duration of the activity which means efij is going to be calculated by esij plus dij or simply esij you can consider as ei refer step 2 esij is equal to ei ei plus dij that is ef earliest finish time efij is going to be calculated by ei plus dij that is the step 3 and step 4 you consider the step 4 now what is step 4 now by moving to the next event that is uh, you have to calculate for remaining events uh, you have to calculate uh, earliest times that is for event j you have to calculate earliest event time for event j by taking maximum of the earliest finish times of all activities ending to the into that event ej is equal to maximum of efij efij is ei plus dij which is nothing but maximum of i with respect to i that is for i ei plus dij ej is equal to maximum of ei plus dij that's all by calculating this uh, you can calculate uh, all the values of e 
for the up to the ending end event the earliest finish time of the last event provide us the total minimum time duration of the completion of the total project that is the last time earliest finish time for the last event last node which provides the total minimum time duration total time required to complete the project hope you understand this is what forward pass calculations next you have to consider backward pass calculation the backward pass calculation which means latest times through this method through these calculations latest times are going to be calculated so the latest times are going to be calculated in this in these particular steps the backward pass calculation step 1 for ending event you have to consider e is equal to l the last event you have to consider e is equal to l i explain a problem there you can easily understand these all the all these steps and for which what you have to do is uh, after completion of the forward pa pass calculations you can calc you can uh, obtain last value of e and uh, if if all the cal forward calculations are finished then you can all then only you can calculate e is yeah, l, the value of l that is uh, uh, latest times are going to be calculated with the help of the last uh, first first of all last uh, value of e it is going it is going to be considered as e is equal to l for ending event last node and end node step 2 the latest finish times of the activity i comma j is equal to the latest event time of the event j that is l f i j is going to be considered as l j that is the last one we are considering and so that remaining are going to be calculated step 3 compute uh, the latest starting time of activity i comma j by subtracting the duration of activity from the latest finish time latest finish time is this and subtract d i j you will get l s i j that is latest starting time l s i j is equal to l f i j minus d i j that is the first formula and then the next next second formula step 4 now move back to the event in the sequence and calculate latest event time for the event i by taking minimum minimum of the latest starting times these are the latest starting times are going to be calculated for all activities and or for which which means if you have more than uh, one particular value then you have to consider minimum l i is equal to minimum of l s i j that minimum of j with respect to j l j minus l s i j is going to be calculated by l f i j l f i j is l j l j minus d i j minimum of l j minus d i j so this is the formula of l i so end of step 4 and so, so that uh, we have to calculate for all the values uh, till the uh, first node that is uh, 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 up to the first node you have to calculate from the last to first you have to calculate backward pass calculations identify the total minimum time of the completion of the project uh, with the latest finish time at the end event that is we have to identify it and so that uh, we have to calculate uh, uh, the latest times latest times are going to be calculated with the help of the backward pass calculations this is what the calculation of forward pass and backward pass calculations to calculate earliest times we use the pa forward pass calculations latest finish times latest uh, times start and finish both uh, are going to be calculated with the help of the backward pass calculations so this is what the critical path method and its calculations you have to write uh, critical in the critical path method you have to write all these uh, points hope you understand thank you